our next concept in this chapter is revenues. Now, what do you mean by revenue? Revenue means the income, the income that you generate from the sales, sales of the product. It is very similar to the cost concept. In cost concept, we had the concepts of total cost, average cost, marginal cost. Here also we have the same concepts, total revenue, average revenue and marginal revenue. Total revenue is the sum total of the revenues that you get from the total sales of all the products. So when you sell one product, your total revenue is the revenue from that product. When you sell two products, your total revenue is the sum total of the sales of both the products. When you sell three products, your total revenue is the sum total of the sales of the three products, so on and so forth. So we can say that total revenue or PR equals to sum total of all sales or in other words sum total of all marginal revenue. We will see what is marginal revenue but for now please understand that total revenue is summation MR. Summation MR means sum total of all the marginal revenues. Now what is average revenue? It is the same that we studied in the cost. Average cost was total cost divided by the total quantity of goods. Same is the concept here. Total revenue divided by the total quantity of goods sold. So average revenue is AR equals PR divided by Q. The sum total of all the revenue that you have divided by the total number of units that you have sold divided by the total quantity that you have sold will give you the average revenue earned per unit. Let's say your total revenue from selling 10 units of a good is 1000 rupees. Can you tell me what will be the average revenue? Correct. The average revenue from one product will be 1000 divided by 10 which is 100 rupees. So this is how you calculate average revenue. And finally you have marginal revenue. Now marginal revenue is total revenue from n number of units minus total revenue from n minus 1 units. That is the additional revenue that you get from sales of one extra unit, from sales of one additional unit. Let's say you sell 10 products, 10 units and you earn 1000 rupees. And when you sell the 11th product, you earn an additional 150 rupees. So your marginal revenue here will be 150 rupees. It is the additional revenue that you generate from selling of one extra unit. You can also calculate it with this formula. Total revenue at n number of units minus total revenue at n minus 1. So total revenue by selling 11 units is 1150 minus total revenue by selling 10 units which is 1000. So 1150 minus 1000 will give you 150. 
you can also calculate it with this formula. Change in TR divided by change in quantity of goods. So when you sell 10 units, you earn 1000 rupees. When you sell 11 units, you earn 1150 rupees. So can you tell me what is the change in revenue here? By how much does your revenue change? Correct, your revenue changes by 150 rupees. And by how much does the quantity sold change? Earlier you were selling 10, now you are selling 11 units. So your quantity sold changes by 1. So change in total revenue is 150 divided by change in quantity sold 1. The answer is 150. So you can calculate it with these two formulas. Now here we have taken a schedule wherein we have given you the price of the product, the quantity sold, total revenue generated and average revenue generated along with the marginal revenue. The price of the product is 3 all the way. The product is sold at a uniform price of 3. The quantity sold earlier is 5, then 10, then 15, then 20 and finally 25. So can you tell me when 5 units are sold at a price of 3, what is the total revenue that you will generate? Yes, that's simple, it will be 15. 5 into 3 is 15. In the same manner, when 10 units are sold at a price of 3, the total revenue will be 30. Likewise, when you sell 25 units at a price of 3, your total revenue will be 75 rupees. Now, let's see how we calculate the average revenue. As I told you, the average revenue is total revenue, total revenue divided by the quantity sold. So your total revenue in first case is 15 divided by quantity sold which is 5. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. In the second case our total revenue is 30 and the quantity sold is 10. Therefore the average revenue will be 30 divided by 10, 3 rupees again. Same would be the case in the case wherein you are selling 25 units. Your total revenue there is 75 divided by the number of units which is 25. So 75 divided by 25 will give you 3. Now here the average reven revenue is constant. It is because the price is constant. Since the price is constant, the average revenue will also be constant. Not only will it be constant, it will be equal to the price. So when the price is constant, average revenue also remains constant and not only will it be constant, it will be equal to the price and same can be seen here. Price is constant, so is average revenue and not only the average revenue is constant, it is equal to the price. Same can be inferred from the marginal revenue. When the price is constant, marginal revenue remains constant. Not only is it constant, it equals the price. But let us first calculate the marginal revenue. To calculate the marginal revenue, we will use this formula. Since in this case, we are not given the revenue generated from one unit. You can see that at all levels there is an increment of units sold by 5. Since there is an increment in the units sold by 5, we will consider this formula as it will give us the correct answer. Since this formula 
TRN minus TRN minus 1 is applicable only when you have the additional revenue generated from an additional unit. But here we have additional revenue generated from sale of 5 more units. So we use this formula. So going by this formula, which is same with this, the both the formulas are same. So going by this formula, we have change in revenue C1 minus C0. So what is the total revenue here? 30. And what is the revenue a case before that? It is 15. So by how much does the revenue change? It changes by 15. And by how much does the quantity sold change? It changes by 5. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. Same is the case here. The change is 15. The change is 5. So 15 divided by 5, 3. Same. 15, 5, 15 divided by 5, 3. So in all the cases, you can see that marginal revenue is again 3. Because marginal revenue is the additional revenue that you generate from sale of additional unit. And each unit is sold for 3 rupees only. So by sale of each additional unit, you will again get rupees 3 only. So marginal revenue from the sale of each additional unit will be 3 only. So this is the concept of revenues and in that we have done the total revenue. Total revenue is the sum total of the marginal revenues that you get. It is the total quantity sold into the price at which they are sold. It is also the total sales that you make. So you call it the total sales, you call it by the formula uh, total unit sold into price. Next we saw the average revenue. Average revenue is the total revenue divided by the number of units sold. This is how actually we calculate the average. We take the summation of all and then we divide it by the number of units. In revenue also it's the same case. Total revenue divided by the number of units will give you the average revenue. And finally, you have marginal revenue. Marginal revenue is the revenue, the additional revenue that you get by sales of one extra unit, by sales of one additional unit. And marginal revenue is calculated with the formula TRN minus TR at n minus 1 or delta tr divided by delta q that is change in total revenue divided by change in quantity sold.